Now, let's look at this uh, GED practice on science. Okay, welcome everyone to DTW uh, prep test. Okay, so now look at this. It says write the balance equation of this. All right, in science, you always get a question on balancing equations. Okay, and um, you can always get the photosynthesis um, equation. So this, this is a typical photosynthesis equation but it's not balanced, so we have to balance it. Now, what does balancing mean? Okay, it means that the total number of atoms of a particular element on your left side should be the same on the right-hand side, okay? So here, let's start with carbon, all right? We have carbon here, it's just one. You know, each compound, you know, this is a compound where you have two elements together as a compound and a compound has like a coefficient. Okay, if you don't see any coefficient, it means there's an invisible one here. There's an invisible one here, an invisible one, invisible one, when you don't see any number in front of it. Okay, <clears throat> so that's one. So get the total number of atoms of that element. You do that coefficient times the a uh, subscript okay now the subscript of carbon here is one you can see that of oxygen here is two so the total number of carbon here <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> is one times one is one that's the total number of carbon we're trying to balance carbon here but here if we come to our right hand side we see that the total number of carbon is one times six is six do you see that so in order for me to balance it out, since I have one here, I have six here, I would just put a six here, okay? And when I put a six, it gives me six times one, which is six. Do you see that? I have balanced carbon now. Carbon is the same on each side, all right? Don't worry about oxygen. We're going to balance oxygen finally, okay? The trick to balancing equation, the element that stands alone, you can see either on one on the right-hand side or left-hand side, let it be the final element we try to balance out, okay? Let it be the final element. That's a trick for, when you get confused, that's a trick. Let it be the final element you try to balance out. Now, let's go to hydrogen. You can see the three elements we have here playing, playing taking part in this equation is carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. So now let's try to balance hydrogen out. Now, hydrogen, how many do we have here? One times two, that is a two. How many hydrogen do we have here? That's a one times 12. That is a 12. So hydrogen is two here and is 12 here. So how can I balance this guy out here to give me a 12? Okay, what I can do is do a six here. I put a six as the coefficient. Okay, so I now have six times two and it gives me a 12. I have finally balanced it out. Can you see that? So it is balanced. Hydrogen is balanced. Now, finally, let's balance oxygen. Let us know the amount of oxygen we have here and the amount of oxygen we have on this side. Now, the total amount of oxygen we have in this first compound, which is carbon dioxide, is six times two. So we have 12 oxygen. So we're working on oxygen. Here is six, one oxygen here has a, uh, subscript of one so that is six times one is six so the total here is 18. now let's check on this side how many oxygen we have here okay so here that's one times six that's six then here is one times two and that gives us what a two all right do you see that so this is 18 and this is eight so it means we need 10 more can you see the difference this plus this is eight so if we subtract 18 minus eight okay it means we need 10 more oxygen atom to come balance this equation and where that 10 should come from is here so how do we balance it out now we don't need to touch this guy again because everything here you know we have balanced carbon and hydrogen now that's where the when this element stands alone you see that's how beautiful it is so here now we can now put in all those final 10 atoms here and how do we do this we have to make this place 10 right so what do we do <clears throat> we do what we add a we have to make this place uh this is eight sorry so this is eight we have to add 10 more right so 
if we have 6 here, then it means here, to add 10 more, that's plus 10, that's 2 plus 10, so it gives us what, 12. So when we do 6 plus 12, it gives us 18. So how can we make this what, 12? To make this 12, we just add a 6 here, and that is 6 times 2, 12. Can you see that? So our final balanced equation is 6CO2 plus 6H2O. Then we have C6H12O6 plus 6O2. Do you see that we have balanced this equation? Okay, so thank you for staying tuned to, uh, you know, to the end. It's a bit, five minutes, okay, quite long. All right, so thank you. If you're interested in our intensive uh, GED online classes, where we meet on Google Meet online classes in the evening, all right, and it costs $25 monthly, you can please join our WhatsApp group. I'm going to leave all the links in the video description box of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can check our website for free downloads, notes, study guides. You can also join our, our, our Facebook group. Okay, we have a very lovely, fantastic Facebook group, over 26,000 members in the group. All the links will be in the video description box of this video. Okay, so thank you and see you in our next video. And don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he, he is the life. Okay, he's the one that's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us that heaven on earth here. He can do it for us. Okay, so thank you and see you in our next video. You are destined to win.